Hi guys, it's Josh here. Welcome back to another How to Ski YouTube video. In this video, we're gonna learn how to ski groomers with performance. We're gonna to look to take our piece skiing to another level. We're gonna learn how to increase ski performance on the groomers, and we're gonna look at how the body needs to align itself and move to create that performance. To me, carving or skiing with a lot of piece performance, it's such an incredible feeling. Like when you move your center of mass or your body inside the turn, you tip the ski up onto a high edge angle, you're balancing just against force that the snow is pushing back on you. And it's just such an amazing feeling. And then when you release the turn, as you go through the transition, you sort of rebound yourself across the hill and it's like a weightlessness moment. And then the skis pick up edge again, you move inside and you balance against the force. And so in this video, what I'm gonna try is my best to show you how to get those feelings, how to get those, so, those sensations and how to find another level of just joy within the realm of skiing. It's important to understand how the ski works. Modern performance skis or carving skis, they are designed like an hourglass. So when you lock the ski onto edge and it cuts or slices through the snow, because of the side cut, because of the fact that you've created edge angle or higher edge angle and the ski has bent, the ski will create its own turn shape. The higher you increase the edge angle, the tighter you can make that turn shape. Once the ski is on its radius, it will cut and slice forward through each phase of the arc. So if we start carving early in the arc, it will move forward. The tip will then bring the ski down the hill, so you'll be facing the full line, okay? You will then carve down the hill, and then the ski will continue to bend. The tail will be following the path of the tip, and you will cut forward across the hill. So it's important to understand this feeling because if it's our first time learning to carve, then there's a massive difference between having the ski slide sideways or carve and cut forward. As we want to develop our carving, we have to increase speed. This can take a little getting used to because you are purposely trying to set off and accelerate more down the hill at the start of your runs. You'll notice this as I push off in these videos and skate down the hill slightly just to get myself at a speed that allows me to carve because if we want to develop our carving, we must, must become comfortable with skiing faster. It's important when you're carving that you have enough space around you on the slope. So you need to be really aware of your surroundings and the amount of people that are sharing the slope with you. If, like you see in this video here, there's people all around you, it's just not appropriate to carve. Shut it down, try again on another run. In this part, we're gonna focus on the ski performance and how to increase edge angle. How we increase edge angle is essentially as simple as tipping the ski onto its side. You need to remain centered, so have an even pressure along the length of the ski, but to develop or increase edge angle, we must tip the ski onto its side. This exercise, its purpose is to create higher levels of edge angle, getting the ski to cut and penetrate the snow, slice and move forward through the arc and tighten the arc, giving you the feelings of what carving is like. When performing this exercise, you are going to shorten or flex your inside leg. This allows to maintain balance through the outside ski while you are reaching for the snow, while you are moving your body inside to try and create as much edge angle as you can. To modify this exercise, or if it is the first time that you have tried the drill, then start out by doing a J turn. So try this exercise one turn at a time. In this section, we're going to look at 
how we control the body performance to help us develop our carving or our piste skiing. We're going to look at firstly the inclination and angulation of the body and how they complement each other to help us balance against the force that's acting on the ski and therefore our body when we turn. What I want us to focus on is managing or controlling the inclination of the legs inside the turn and the inclination of the body inside the turn. If we are disciplined with our body, then we will create a natural angulation as we incline. We don't need to tip the shoulders ahead of the legs, creating an over-inclinated position. Or aggressively tip the shoulders outside of the turn, creating an over-angulated position. What I'm searching for when I'm skiing and what I want you guys to have from this video, get from this video, is a natural angulated position to help you, as I said before, balance through the outside ski to manage the forces acting on you in each of your turns. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at an exercise called a white pass turn. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on using inclination of the body, balancing on the inside ski through the top half of the turn. And then as we move through the second half of the turn, we're going to place the outside ski back down to the snow. We're going to balance with the force through the outside ski and we're going to focus on creating some more angulation. So we're going to look in this exercise to create edge angle, to work with inclination and angulation to try and find that sort of nice complementary balanced position that we want to be in when we're carving. This section the focus is just practice. So before when we've been focusing on building edge angle and ski performance or how to complement inclination and angulation together, those have been focusing on sort of individual specific parts. Right now we've got to make sure, especially with, with all skiing, but if we're learning carving for the first time, that you practice, you repeat it. Okay, repetition, repetition, repetition. You've got to maintain the same focuses. Whatever feelings you've gotten from the ski cutting forward or from discipline within the core to maintain some angular, natural angulation, we've got to maintain those feelings and focuses while we practice. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I hope that it helped and I hope that you can take some of the information I shared with you today to develop your piste skiing. If you would like to take a personal approach to develop your piste performance skiing, then get in touch with me on the Ski Co website or if you would like to come and train with me this summer down in the beautiful New Zealand, then get in touch with the Rookie Academy. Alternatively, if you really love the online learning environment, then I would highly recommend subscribing to Projected Productions. I can't wait to ski with you soon. Hope you have a good one.